I was reflecting on Morgant's recent schemes. It is time for you to learn more about the Council of Light and Avalon. What is Avalon? Why, it is the world I come from. I will tell you more, but first you must learn of the Council of Light. Find the Emperor of Mushu in the Jade Palace. Ask about the Council of Light. Return here when you are finished. Greetings, esteemed wizard. It has been a long time since Mushu was graced with your presence. If you would learn about the Council of Light, you must study the Scrolls of Light. However, the path is not so easy. They are held in the Tower of Absolute Being, in the Jade Palace, and are guarded by the fierce Jade Oni, Mika Skaka. You should not be here, wizard. The light of truth can be blinding. You carefully collect the scrolls of light. You are the first one in generations to read them. The scrolls are the recollections of the Emperor of Mushu, detailing the formation of the Council of Light. In the year of the Red Comet, blanketed by shadow, the world of Zafaria called for help. A Council of Light was born. The council consisted of Merle Ambrose, Lydia Greyrose, Diego the Duel Master, and my humble self. With King Achebe, King Zitu Zibu, King Caleb, and Queen Elissa, the Spider Temple was broken, and the shadows were driven out. The Council of Light kept watch for new shadows throughout the spiral, for evil can never be destroyed, only driven back. It is good to see you again so soon. I trust the Jade Oni did not cause you any difficulties. The Council of Light has allies wherever there are those pure of heart. Avalon, Marleybone, Grizzleheim, Mirage, even Polaris. You should return to Headmaster Ambrose in Wizard City and tell him what you have learned. Oh, it is hard to believe it was so long ago. I feel as if a great shadow has come to Wizard City. Let us speak to Gamma at once. My Bartleby, what was that? It came from Gamma's room. Morganth! Hello, Ambrose. And look, you've brought your pet wizard with you. Now that I've reclaimed my deck of shadows, I'm going to rewrite the spiral. This is your one chance to join me, or else be washed away in the tide of chaos. I'm sorry, Morganth. You were once the best and brightest, but you dwelt in the shadows for too long. Your path leads to naught but ruin and sorrow. I expel you with a banishing spell. Ah! You will regret this day, I swear. Shadow take you all! Oh, I had hoped it would not come to this. But clearly Morganth cannot be left unchecked. We must stop her. You will need the Sword of Kings to defeat Morgant's Deck of Shadows. Gamma, tell our esteemed wizard what we know. Meanwhile, I'll clean up this mess. Morgant, bah! She once tried to hit me with a woolly mammoth. The Sword of Kings? Oh, it is the legendary Blade of Avalon, once held by King Artorius, greatest of kings. Hmm, his memory is preserved by the Knights of the Silver Rose. Here is the spiral key to Avalon. Go there and ask the first knight you see to point you to young Perry. He had charge of the Sword of Kings last I knew. My wounds ail me. Good wizard, may I implore you for help? 
I was wounded along the high road by vicious fraudlings. They stole my arms! Could you get my sword back from the night goblins? And my shield back from the hobgoblin fiends? Ah! You have recovered my lost arms! That helps ease my discomfort! These wounds are not mending. I worry I may never recover. But I have heard tales of a wood witch, famed for her healing powers. I implore you to find Fianna Yellowknife on the high road and beg a salve for me. What have we here? You say Sir Pike has a wound that will not heal? That is a dark sign. Seek out the night goblins who are prowling the high road and make them tell you the name of the one who wounded Sir Pike. <laughs> Stop your spell work! You, you want the worm! Cadillac, the fire spitter! Ooh, the fire spitter! May the spirit of Artorius protect us! That name is an ill omen. Karanak, the fire spitter, is a worm of great power and destruction. His bite is lethal, unless... If you were to gather a sample of his venom, I could create a healing salve. Of course, you'll have to defeat him first. The air is blistering inside, like the inside of a smith's furnace. You hear the horrible fire spitter up ahead. You collect a healthy sample of fire spitter venom. You are careful not to get any on you. That venom will do nicely. To prepare the salve. I need some bulbs of Ale Blanc, a medicinal plant with wondrous properties. Please, fetch me some. Ah, that miracle clove. To crush the Ale Blanc and make the salve, I'll need my mortar and pestle. I lost them to hobgoblin fiends in the area. Get them! You got them back. I'm sure the fiends were crushed. There! I've made the strongest antidote I can. Hurry to Sir Pike and tell him to apply this salve to his wounds. It will neutralize the venom at once. I'm not dead yet. You got the salve? Oh, that feels much better. The great the wizard Merle Ambrose sent you to seek young Perry? Ha! Perry is now a white-bearded knight. He lives along the high road, but I'm not sure where. Sumner Fieldgold would know. He is a merchant and knows the high road well. Be still, my beating heart. A wizard come to save us. Sir Pike saved me from the Fraudlings. But we lost several bags of grain that are desperately needed here. Can you find the bags of grain in the high road and bring them back? Once the supplies are secured, I'll help you find Sir Perry. Ah, now the good folk here will be able to weather a hard season. Let me help you find Sir Perry Gilliam. His cottage is on the high road, a short way past the wood witch, Fianna Yellowknife. Cast wolf! Thy fury inward on thyself, pray, and consume thee. Oh, wait, you're not a red thorn badger. Ah, I've heard stories of a young heroic wizard who defeated Karanak the horrid fire spitter. Might you be the one in the same? If you can prove yourself, I'll help with the noble quest to find the Sword of Kings. The fire spitter's spawn must be vanquished. They live in a poisoned well near her cave. Do this and survive. A glorious tale of sword and fang. You are clearly a student of the legendary Merle Ambrose. Years ago, I was given charge of the Sword of Kings. 
a squire when King Artorius died, I proved myself a worthy knight. In recent times, when the Fraudling army attacked, I was vexed by the thought of the Sword of Kings falling into their hands. I entrusted it to Sir Brennan One Hand. Last I heard, he was battling Red Thorn Knights. Defeat some to find his whereabouts. That Scarfloss or Terence Thorn Whip will duel with any knight. Any who lose to him end up in his dungeon. You must go to the Red Thorn Tower and ring the bell outside it to challenge the false knight, Sir Terence Thorn Whip. Go inside, trounce Sir Terence, and free any knights he has in his dungeon. Let me know when you succeed. I hear your challenge and accept. Enter and face your doom. As the sound of the bell fades, the gate to the Red Thorn Tower opens, beckoning you inside. You may be no knight, but let it not be said I'm not fair. And I'll fairly throw you into my dungeon when you lose. Froutlings take you, wizard. I am beaten. As I still have my own honor, you should free the knights below in the dungeons, lest they starve. Lord Thornwhip, send me a new toy. A wizard toy, not not. Come here. You hurt me. The smelly brute drops a heavy ring of keys with a thunk. You use the keys to free the trapped knights. Well fought. Thank you for freeing me, young wizard. I'll head back to Caliburn to rest up and speak to you there. By Gamma, that's better. Many thanks to you, kind stranger. I too will head to Caliburn and join the knights there. A remarkable feat, good wizard. Merle Ambrose has taught you well. Although the king won the throne with the Sword of Kings, it was the Order of the Silver Rose that helped him keep the peace. Merle Ambrose dreamed up the order and crafted the stone table that was our symbol. Sir Brennan was the first of the knights. Seek Sir Brennan one hand at Caliburn. He can tell you how to find the Sword of Kings now that you have proven yourself. Hail again, fair wizard. I owe you my freedom. You are searching for the Sword of Kings that the Lady of the Lake once bestowed upon King Arturius. Sir Paddy gave me King Arturius' mighty blade to carry, and before my foolish duel, I was smart enough to hand it off for safety. Sir Justin Silverharp took it away from Avalon into the very forest of Weirwood. My map of the Weirwood is in my estate in the town of Caerleon. Uh, but the way is blocked by the Hundred Year Bridge. The Harlequin Knight guards that bridge. He will not face you unless you are at least a squire. Ask Friar Nolan about a squireship. Hello, friend. The shrine to courage in the face of axe, sword, and poisoned arrow was sullied by Fomori giants. Defeat the Fomori to retrieve the sacred shield and sword and restore the shrine. Then I can squire you for your act of courage. You have restored the shrine to courage in the face of axe, sword, and poisoned arrow. Of course, you just might want to avoid that poisoned arrow. You are truly a disciple of courage. I hereby dub thee squire and charge you to serve with valor and courage to protect the weak and defenseless, to live by honor and for glory. Young squire, now return to Sir Brennan and let him know what you've accomplished today. Hello, squire. The Harlequin Knight is a chaotic knight who has closed the Hundred Year Bridge to Caer Leon. You'll have to duel him <laughs> and win. Once you get past that rogue, search out my loyal steward Kay at my estate near the town round. He'll get you the map you need. You pup! 
You are hardly a squire. Still, by the laws of the land, you can challenge me, if you want a drubbing. If you wish to cross the Hundred Year Bridge, you must face me and win. Eat me in the bridge tower and prepare to duel. Uh, mm, enough! You may cross the Hundred Year Bridge at your leisure. Now that you are safely inside the city, it is time to seek out Sir Brennan's steward, Kay. Are you friend or foe, stranger? Sir Brennan sent you? Yes, I have a map of the Weirwood packed away somewhere. Things are topsy-turvy of late, you can imagine. While I search, you can help. Hobgoblin plunderers ransacked the estate and stole the knight's armor and shield. Can you get them back? You recovered Sir Brennan's kit! Those savages deface Sir Brennan's armor. This just won't do. It must be repaired before I return it to him. Can you track down Ashlyn Brushtail, the master arms painter? She's still in town. Ask if she'll restore Sir Brennan's shield. Oh, goodness, I could use your help. Can you please help? These horrible Whiptail Pantera have trapped me here. Can you drive them away? That was wonderfully brave. My cousin Emaine is missing. We got separated in the attack. If you can find her, I'll be happy to help you with your shield. Can you ask at the Town Round Barricade and see if anyone's seen Emaine Cloudtail? Start with her friend, Innis Idol. Sir Robin bravely rode forth from Avalon. Not afraid to die was he. Oh, Sir Robin bravely. Not afraid to be torn apart by vicious little foundlings. Not afraid to be smashed to pulp by handsome Fomori. This loot isn't working. Oh, sorry, you're looking for a main cloud tail? I've no idea. You could ask Jeremiah Carver over there. A main? Yes, I saw her being chased away from here by hobgoblin plunderers. I couldn't reach her. Please, tell Ashlyn. Chased by hobgoblin plunderers? That's awful! Please round up some hobgoblin plunderers and scare them into telling you what they did with my cousin Emaine. You want that ugly girl? We almost snatched her up, but she hid in the archives. Over there you see a girl that must be Ashlyn's cousin, Emaine. My cousin sent you to find me. That was sweet of her. Thanks for chasing away those plunderers. I can escape now. Please, tell Ashlyn to stay safe. Emaine got out of town safely? Terrific! I'd like to leave Caerleone and join the group at Abbey Road, but I can't leave without my paints. They are my livelihood. A pack of nasty little night goblins stole them from my house. Can you get them back for me? <sighs> ah, rusty night. We gave paints to Big Boss Felicia Sparker. He live in Big Boss Tower. A wizard acting like a knight? I'm gonna break your wand and stuff that shiny squire badge down your gullet. <laughs> Thank you. As a last favor, can you repair the teleporter arch by the town round? If you make it work, it can take you to Caliburn. I believe there is a book in the archives that explains how they work. Can you find it and then trigger the teleporter arch? A treatise on the building, maintenance, and repair of teleporter arches in, out, and throughout Avalon. Yup, sounds about right. You did it! Thank you for all your help. I'm going to take my things to Abbey Road right now. Tell Kay I'll paint his shield for him there. I realize the streets are overrun by Froudlings, but you took your time finding the Master Arms painter, didn't you? Well, I guess it's good that it took you so long to help Ashlyn get her things and get back to Caliburn. I only just found your map. This will lead you right to Sir Drustin Silverharp's cottage in the wild. That's the nice part of the Weirwood. I'm going to Caliburn myself.
Before you set off, could you distract the hobgoblin plunderers and whiptail Pantera so I'll be safe? Brave work, Squire. That map will get you where you need to go. To get into the Weirwood, however, you'll need to talk to old Greenbeard. Oh, a wizard. <laughs> you are an apprentice to the stripling Merle Ambrose, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I've not heard that name in many seasons. You wish to enter the Weirwood? Oh, the path has been closed since the Froudlings attacked. I have lost one of my daughter's wizards. Oh, the wind moans that Phelan Green sees was captured by chaotic Logress knights. My Phelan is but a defenseless sapling. Make the Logress Knights tell you how to find her wizard, and then mayhaps we can speak. Yeah. Failing Green sees uh, she's obliged at the Logress estate. Here, this key will get you in. <laughs> That must be the dryad, Phelan Greensleeves. Funny, she doesn't look confined. Greetings, fair squire. What can I do for you this day? Kidnapped? <laughs> Stars, no. I have fallen in love with Sir Malik de Logris. Would you tell my father the happy news? Oh, what? <laughs> in love? <sighs> What wonderful sun-dappled news. Ah, this news is like a cool breeze through my leaves. I was distressed about my poor sapling. And instead, she is to be married. Go back at once to Sir Malik de Logris and request my invitation to their nuptials. You come from old Greenbeard? You don't look much like a gardener. Ha! An invitation for that treant? Ha! No, I don't think so. Those creatures spoiled this shrine to hospitality and good manners between foxes, dogs, badgers, otters, humans, and fairies. Could you imagine what they would do to my lovely estate? Tell him he is unwelcome. He said what? Why, I shall raise all of the great wild wood to march to Cadillon and come against him. No, wait. My sap runs hot like a wildfire treant. No, we will show him our honor and the difference between fairies and fraudlings. A redcap called Chagan Nosebiter has the shrine relics. Get them back, and restore the Shrine to Hospitality. Good of you to stick your nose in. I was feeling a little peckish. Ah, your magic strikes like nature's wrath. Take your cursed relics. It takes a little elbow grease and some basic masonry to get the repairs done. But soon the shrine to hospitality and good manners between foxes, dogs, badgers, otters, humans, and fairies is looking right as rain. You have done it? Oh, you show tremendous skill, wizard. Let us make one more appeal to civility. Go and tell Sir Malik de Logres what we've done. Let us see if his branches will bend. Mm. I would hate to need to disturb all my cousins in the Weirwood from their long rest. You restored the blessed shrine to hospitality and good manners between foxes, dogs, badgers, otters, humans, and fairies? I have been arrogant. Accept my humble apologies. Take this invitation to Old Greenbeard. 
He is most welcome in our home. You have an invitation for me? Ah, oh, most good tidings. Thank you, wizard. You are a paragon of the virtue of hospitality. I must get ready for the nuptials. But first, I open the path to the Weirwood for you. Follow your map. You will have no trouble finding Sir Justin Silverheart's hold. Tell his wife, Sophia, you have my favor. How are you, stranger? You're in the favor of old Greenbeard. That is no easy thing to do. Perhaps then I can beg your aid for myself, wizard. The good and noble knight you seek, Sir Drustan Silverharp, was captured by a coven of witchy sisters who nest nearby. Can you venture into the White Owl Tower and rescue Sir Drustan from their vile talons? Who are you? Prepare to have your flesh torn, vermin! Fie! You'll never find a way into the White Owl Tower. Are you a good wizard or an evil wizard? If you are a kind wizard, you will let me out of this cage. And if you promise me a favor for another day, I will use my magic to help get you into the White Owl Tower. You freed me! Hooray! I will ask you for your favor on another day. My name is Casey. I'm glad we are friends. Let me use my magic to help you now. Unicorn magic is always beautiful and uplifting. Climb the vine into the tower. We will meet again, student of Mel Ambrose. Watch out for evil owls. They are almost as bad as lemons. The chamber is filled with a strange vapor that makes you feel so very sleepy. If you don't find an antidote, Quickly, you might sleep forever. Horned crown, how did you make it this far? It matters not. Your quest ends here, wizard. Well done, friend. Let us return to my hold and tell Sophia the joyous news. Quickly, we can use this teleporter stone to escape. Oh, thank you for your kindness. You have brought my husband back when I feared all was lost. You will always be our friend. Now go speak to him of your quest. Ah, the noble sword of kings. When King Artorius was dying, he ordered the Knights of the Silver Rose to guard it vigilantly. I was most honored when Sir Brennan asked me to hold it. Of course I kept it safe. Straight away, I handed it over to the bravest knight in the realm, Sir Robin Bravely. Nothing could be safer. Last I heard, Sir Robin journeyed to the Fire Elf Village to help them against the Froudling army. Seek him there. In the meantime, I will head to Caliburn and see how the others are faring. Good luck, Armager. Boom! Why do they call this a Fire Elf Village? The Froudlings were afraid we might help the Knights of Avalon, so they unleashed a winter worm upon us. Everything is frozen now. Sir Robin, but bravely, I am not sure. I was away from the village the day of the attack. I suspect he's here, under the ice. Wait, if you help me thaw the village, perhaps we can find your knight. We'll need a living ember from the Fountain of Flame. 
You can find it on the other side of the wild. You think you hear a soft crying. <laughs> what can I do? My family will be forever shamed. My brother Brinley, the Knight of Flame, was vanquished by a cruel giant. The giant, Maudit Solban, then stole his armor. Having failed in his duties, Brinley fled to Caer Leon. Noble armager, could you ask him to return to his role? My sister sent you to ask me to go back there? What, are you crazy? Have you ever been beaten by a giant? It's no fun. I'm happy here. If Kara is vexed about the family honor, she can retrieve the armor and become the new Knight of Flame herself. He said what? He said I could be the new Knight of Flame? Why, that would be amazing! But Brinley's armor was stolen by that giant. Could you journey to the Dread Keep and defeat Maudit Solban in order to retrieve the Knight of Flame armor for me? Smells like brimstone and sulfur here. Rotten eggs, eww. How did you get in here? I am Mordi Soban, Lord of the Dread Keep. Soon your blood spattered garb will hang from my walls. How could a puny morsel like you get the better of me? Blasted wizards. You got the armor back. Let me see how it fits. Brilliant. What do you think? Shining Armager, you have done me a great favor and helped me restore honor to my proud family name. I am in your debt. Please collect a living ember from the Fountain of Flame. Take it to the Fire Elf Village and help Roy Firehilt thaw his people. Brr! W welcome back, wizard. Did you g g get a living ember? Ah, I'm starting to feel a bit w warmer already. We have to vanquish the Winter Worm before we can break the c curse of the Warfrost. But the path to his den is too slick to travel. You will need magic shoes to grip the ice. Seek out Shane McGobbin, a leprechaun smith in the Toadstool Village. He can enchant your shoes, so you don't slip on the ice. Greetings, wizard. You need shoes to walk across the ice? Boy, I can craft the shoes you'll need, but to do so, you'll have to fetch me nails back. I'll need them to fix your shoes. The wildfire treants went mad when the fire elf village froze up and tore up everything. Defeat them to find me nails what they stole. Aye, these'll do. Here, let me see your shoes. There, I've fit the nails into the soles so you can walk over the ice without falling. Go back to Roy Firehill. Good luck with that winter worm. You'll need it. Those are some handsome shoes. Now we can travel down the icy path to the Winter Worm's lair and drive him out. He's a terrible beast of winter and storm, and we will need every ounce of courage to win. And by we, I, I mean you. Your shoes really grip the path well now. What is this spark I smell? Hmm, a wizard? Let me extinguish that fire for you. <laughs> I can't believe we bested that loathsome beast! Huzzah! You will always have the trust of the Fire Elves. Now that the Winter Worm is gone, we can melt the Orfrost curse with the Living Ember. Please help me thaw out the village. We can look for Sir Robin while we do so. 
You release the living ember into the air, and it swirls around, melting the snow and ice. The trees burst into flame, a bit wild, but beautiful in their natural state. The houses thaw, and the fire elves warm up, and you even find a knight under a layer of frost. There is much rejoicing. A winter worm, you say? Well, that doesn't sound too scary. Let me just find a woolly sweater. Wait, who are you? Eh? Huh? The winter worm has been defeated? Did I do that before collapsing? Oh, it was you? Bother. Well, perhaps you could tell people I helped. At least gave you moral support? You need the Sword of Kings? I, I was careful not to lose it. I sent it out of the Weirwood. There is a teleporter arch nearby. Can you activate it? Meet me in Caliburn, where we can see the situation more plainly. Ah, I feel much better. The Sword of Kings? Why, yes, Sir Drustin told me to keep the Sword of Kings safe. Why do you ask? When I heard the Fire Elves were fighting Froudlings, I came to see if I could help. I was, uh, anxious about losing the Sword of Kings. Instead, I gave it to my loyal minstrel, Innis Idol, and told him to hie away to safety. Perhaps Sir Pike has seen him. A minstrel? No, oh, I haven't heard any dulcet tunes for a while now. Perhaps Sir Brennan might know. A minstrel? Huh. Surely sweet sounds would make our hardship easier to bear, but no, I haven't seen one. Ask Stuart Kay. Mayhaps this minstrel made it back to Care Leon. I recall the minstrel in Ker Leon seeking refuge at the town round. Go and check. If you don't see him, ask Jeremiah Carver. Greetings, wizard. You look a proper amateur now. The minstrel? I heard Innis Idol took up with the Amber Knights. Scoundrels who take advantage of the weak. You'll find them praying around the streets of Upper Ker Leon. Confront some and ask them where to find the minstrel. <sighs> I give up. The minstrel is hiding at the Amber Estate. Ask Sir Jean Paul Jouster. None shall gain entrance to this estate while I am on duty. I wish there was a pithier way to say that. The minstrel. Yes, he is inside, but I am under orders not to let anyone in. I must serve with these false knights as penance. I shamed myself by losing my war mount. If only I could get a new one, I could rejoin my brothers of the Silver Rose proudly. If you helped me, I could go, and the way would be open, yes? Excellent. We need to salvage armor and shield from the ruined tower near Caerleon's gates for the raw materials. Ah, this is good, solid iron. It will make a fine mount. In that same ruined tower, there is a treatise on that greatest of sports, the Joust. Find Struthio's royal book on mounts, jousting, and knightly combat and bring it here. Oh, you'll likely have to fight an ogre for it. Mash you and smash you and crash you! You no know, take my reading material! You find Struthio's royal book on mounts, jousting, and knightly combat. Odd, ah, there's a picture of a bird on it. You found the book? Splendid! What do you mean there's a bird on the cover? That's not a bird! That's a war ostrich! A shame to be a wizard and to lose your eyesight at such a young age. Now, take what you've collected to Wayland Noy in Abbey Road. He should be able to use these materials to smith a new mount. 
Hello there, wizard. I've already heard some interesting stories about you. Aye, I can help you smith a new war beast for Sir John Paul. You'll have to gather a few more items for me, though. I had some special iron bark logs in my smithy in Caerleon. They burn hotter than any other fire. Get those first. Perfect. Iron bark is exceedingly rare these days, so let's not waste it on something ordinary. I'll need a magically hot ember to start it, but I have no idea where you might find something like that. You have a great idea. You're sure Kara, the Knight of Flame, would give you another living ember from the fountain. A living ember? A brilliant thought. And while you're out in the Weirwood, ask Shane McGovern if he'll lend me his magic hammer too. Oh, it is my favorite armature. How are you this day? You need another living ember? For you, anything. Take it and let me know if you need anything else. May the fire spirits keep you toasty. You scoop up another living ember. It's blazing hot, but magically does not burn you. I see you remain uneaten, wizard. Glad to know me shoes did not let you down. I'd love to help you out, but me hammer's been stolen by thrice cursed red caps. Worms of the earth even stole me new shoes. Tell you what, go punch some of them in their pointy noses and get me me things back, and I'll give you the hammer for old whaling. Here, take the shoes! Stop hitting us! We gave your hammer to the big black cap, Rissima Flavor. Bother him! You want Shane's magic hammer back? I'll smash you flat and fry you up with some hot peppers and garlic. Hum. You got it all back? That's a fine thing. You done well, wizard. Take me hammer to that crafty whale in Noy. Best of luck. You got my goblin's hammer. Well done. You got everything we need, did you? Now, stand back while I melt this metal down and reshape it. Waylon Noy takes command of the forge. The fire blazes white as he beats the metal into shape. He works hard and tirelessly until something fantastic appears. A wondrous bird of prey, the War Ostrich Morning Star. This is by far the fastest ostrich I've ever created. Take this beast to Sir Jean Paul and see what he thinks. Morningstar seems cute, in a demon beast kind of way. You have returned, Armager. Your quest was a success? Is the mount, uh, in your backpack? Ah, a steed with the strength and speed of a hurricane. You and Wayland Noy crafted a masterpiece. Now, I can proudly rejoin my brothers at Caliburn upon the mighty Morning Star with my head held high. With no one guarding the gate of the Amber Estate, you could just walk in and look for this minstrel. His head caved in and his eyes poked out, his ears pulled off and his whiskers burnt and his bottom... Oh, I didn't see you there. Who are you and what do you want? The sword of what? I can't recall. You see, I am terribly distressed. I dropped my loot and some red caps snatched it up. I tried to replace it with this fruit loot, but it's not working out for me. Do you think you could find the red caps who have my loot? I think they're still here in the city. Perhaps then I could remember your... Acts of ages, or whatever it was. The loot? We gave that to our master, Favor Ehrlicker. He lives in that building. A wizard! Let me lick your ears and see how you taste. Take your silly loot, it didn't taste good anyway. You got Lady Elizabeth back. What? Your weapon doesn't have a name? I could sing a song about you. The brave wizard spells only sometimes fail and never ran out of mana. Only fizzled about half the time or maybe more. 
It is time for me to leave this place for safer climbs. I hear the brisk land of Nodor is lovely this time of year. Go to the archives and find me a map to Nodor, and I'll work on a song. Uh, uh, try to remember where your rod of rulership is. A map to the brisk land of Nodor. There are pictures of woolly mammoths and frozen famori. It doesn't sound that appealing to you. Excellent! I'm sure they'll appreciate my fine music up there. Out of my way! I must get out of here! Sword of Kings? Oh, that. I believe I dropped it in the wild near Stormcrown? You need to know exactly? <sighs> Over by the battling sprites and redcaps. Oh, go ask Deirdre Madden. She probably knows. Aye, what are you doing here, wizard? Greetings, wizard. We are hard-pressed by the Fraudlings. Could you lend a spell and help us with some redcaps? Well done, wizard! Tis nigh a rout! The Sword of Kings? Of course we know that blessed weapon. I dinna see your weasel minstrel drop it, but mayhaps one of me scouts did. Sadly, many pixie scouts have been caged by the crow-cursed redcaps. Please, wizard, free him and we can ask him together. You got them all! Have any of you seen the Sword of Kings? No, but Carrie Mustard Seed is still missing. Me best scout, Carrie Mustard Seed, is still missing. The scouts say she's been trapped in the Cave of Anguish by a devilish spiny spriggan. The Cave of Anguish lies across the battlefield. Please rescue her, wizard. Maybe she can shine a light on your quest. A wizard? I'll drink the magic from your tears. Thank you for freeing me. I was afraid she might eat me alive. I'll go report to Commander Deirdre Madden. Brilliant work, wizard. It sounds like you put the fear of cold iron into that wretched spriggan. Carry mustard seeds me best scout. She has a sorrowful tale to tell you. Then we can discuss your plans. I saw your sword. I did, I did. I saw the blessed blade of mighty Artorius, the Sword of Kings. Twas dropped by that weasley minstrel and gathered up by evil ghosts before we could recover it. The specters of the Brocken carried it into the darkest part of the Weirwood, into the Weird. The specters of the Brocken are fiendish spirits what drink the mana of poor fool firelights and anything else they can catch. To travel into the Weird, you'll have to cross the Hanging Stones Bridge. But there lies a wee problem. Go and take a gander for yourself. For something called the Hanging Stones Bridge, they sure appear to be lying inert on the ground. The cursed fraudlings knocked them hanging stones out of the sky. Tis a travesty. Bright wizard, before you venture into the darkness of the weird, you'll have to help us rebuild the hanging stones bridge. There is no other way to cross. I don't know how to restore the bridge, but Friar Nolan is wise in such ways. Speak to him. Ah, you've raised your standing in the world, haven't you, brave armager? To restore the Hanging Stones, you'll need the hearts of a Jabberwock. Not the actual heart, of course, but magic rubies he swallowed. However, the only person who knows where the Jabberwock dwells is the Dark Knight, a foul traitor who turned on Queen Gwendolyn. Defeat the Dark Knight at his estate in Upper Caerleon, and learn how to find and battle the Jabberwock. Snicker snack. And there is something out there in the darkness. Something terrifying. Something that will not stop me. All creatures feel fear. Please don't hurt me. Meet me outside this place of my defeat, and I'll tell you what you need to know. You need to find the Mangsum Jabberwock. The Jabberwock lairs in a hidden forest den on the high road near the shrine to loyalty. As you get close, You'll hear its terrible whiffling and burbling, but show no fear. After it breathes its fire, strike hard. 
Take the hearts of the Jabberwock to the shrine to loyalty in the face of gloom, melancholy, angst, bitterness, and snark. Once you've purified the hearts of the Jabberwock at the shrine, take them back to that blasted Friar Nolan. You gyre on by a grove of tum-tum trees into the Jabberwock's lair. You hear some whiffling and burbling up ahead. <sighs> Beware the Jabberwock! The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. <laughs> Kalu, Kale. As you subdue the slithy beast, it emits a terrible hacking, like a cat with a hairball, and spits up a tulgy gob. You find the hearts of the Jabberwock in the Mimsy mess. Whoever said being a wizard was easy? You purify the hearts of the Jabberwock on the shrine to loyalty in the face of gloom, melancholy, angst, bitterness, and snark. You've defeated the Jabberwock, cleansed the magical rubies, and punished the Dark Knight for his disloyalty. A truly frabjous day! Rise, wizard! You are promoted to Knight Errant! Rise, wizard! You are promoted to knight errant for your mastery of the virtue of loyalty. Take the hearts of the Jabberwock back to the wild. Deirdre will show you how to restore the Hanging Stones Bridge. You look brighter, wizard! Friar Nolan sent you to battle for the hearts of the Jabberwock. What a fight that would have been to see. Take the hearts and touch them to the fallen hanging stones. The monoliths will rise up and reform the bridge. Hanging Stones Bridge is an ancient work of the Weirwood Fairies. Thank you for restoring it. Cross o'er the Hanging Stones Bridge into the Weird. Stay on the path to the Lost Abbey and beware the tormented treants. If you are quick and kind, you might find a full fire wisp to help guide you. They are enemies of the Spectres of the Broken. The Spectres of the Broken are haunting this area, attacking the harmless faux fire lights. If you defeat some specters, perhaps the faux fire lights will know you're on their side. When you defeat that specter, it releases a captured faux fire light. The faux fire light is bobbing and weaving as if it wants your attention. It bobs and weaves cheerfully. The faux fire light seems to understand your quest. It illuminates a path for you, right into the Lost Abbey. By the Horned Crown, who disturbs my melancholy? I shall feed on your mana and leave your body a husk for the beetles. The shadow is lifted. I am transformed. Stranger, you have broken my madness. Let us speak outside this accursed place. Valiant Knight Errant, how can I repay your good deed? My tragedy has been lost to the mists of time. Suffice it to say, I knew joy and sorrow before the time of King Artorius. But when the vile Pendragon, Lord of the Wild Hunt, rose to power, his shadow twisted me and my brother ghosts to evil. The Sword of Kings! <laughs> We gave it to the Pendragon's Horned Ones just before you liberated me. They secured it in a fraudling wagon and went down the path. Hurry, and you might catch them. Oh no! Something terrible happened to the wagon before you could do something terrible to it. As you get closer, you think you hear a wee tiny voice crying for help. Oh, help! Can any brave soul hear me? You heard me! Hooray! I beg your help, brave!
uh, big one. Our village is in that tree, and we cannot douse the magical flames consuming it. Please collect some arcane water from the rainbow fountain and use it to quench the flames. The arcane water from the rainbow fountain sparkles with its own light. You collect a sample. You hope it will be enough. You got back just in time. You soaked the tree with the arcane water you collected. There's a loud hiss and a billow of white steam. For a second, you can't see anything. Big one, you saved us. I saw the wagon attack my death seraphs. They crushed the horned ones with their infernal flames and stole a great sword. The Death Seraphs flew to the burial ground. This trail leads to it, but I must warn you. And Etin blocks the way. You'll need to face the Etin, both of his faces, to get there. If you get by the Etin, there's a friendly ghost in the burial ground called Bridget. She can help you find the Death Seraphs. I smell a wizard. Come closer and let me grab a hold of you, wee one. I said come closer. You are not scared of me, Gyre and Gimbal. You hear that thunder? It is my stomach. It is long empty. I recall the savory tang of roast mutton from the Froudling village. Perhaps you want to get past me, but I cannot hear your words because my stomach is so loud. Fetch me a pot of mutton. Bring it to me! Ah, oh, there he is. I'll see you retrieved it. Please bring it closer. <laughs> Let us bargain, wizard. The mutton? Pah, twas but charity. A devilish leprechaun lured me here to be turned to stone by the sun. A cloak of raven shadows can free me. First, scavenge raven feathers from the Froudling village. Then, you'll need to battle wildfire treants for ashes, and tormented treants for twisted branches. Take it to the devil Shane McGobbin. He can make the cloak, and in return, I'll vow not to arm a leprechaun again. Raven feathers, wildfire ashes, and twisted branches? And what you be needing a cloak of raven shadows for? That moth-eaten atom. He's mashed me people for more than a score of years. Eh. He's offering a vow of peace. All right, but make sure both heads swear, or we'll both be sorry. Here's your cloak. <laughs> hey, went for it. I mean, of course, I'll keep my vow. What do you mean I have to promise for my other head, too? What trickery is this? Didn't I? Fine, fine, fine. We vow never to harm a leprechaun again. We vow never to harm a leprechaun again. Happy? You helped us, wizard. I won't forget that. Me either. I'll remember you fondly as I pick your bones out of my teeth. No, no, no. A deal is a deal. The way is open to you, wizard. Head on to the burial ground and find your ghost, Bridget. Halt, defiler, or face my wrath. Oh, you are a knight errant and a friend to Sir Bellinos. I'm sorry, I am weak and my sight is no longer clear. I would help you, but Froudlings stole carved markers from my tomb and my own weapons. This has reduced my power. Retrieve my carved markers from the Froudling village and fight the Spriggans for my weapons. Then I can aid you. The ghost's weapons? Gintha has them in her warren, that tower over there. My treasures! My treasures! A box upon your kind, wizard!
I am relieved to have these returned. If you are able to restore my tomb with the carved markers and weapons you retrieved, I believe I will be able to guide you. Please restore the carved markers and weapons to the tomb. Then my power will be restored and I can help you. With my tomb restored, my essence is replenished. I can see clearly now. Your path lies there, into the tomb of the Nameless. That is where the Death Seraphs took your sword. The tomb was built for a wealthy knight, but his name was erased from history for crimes that were beyond the pale. This dungeon will test you, wizard, for the Nameless is the one who betrayed Artorius and caused the Great King's death. Enter the tomb and confront the Nameless Knight for your sword. The Knight's name has been scratched out, but you can still make out the name of the tapestry, All the Colors of Descent. These markers record a knight's rise and fall. Once you set the final marker in the correct order, you hear the doors grind open. Who are you, child? A wizard playing at being a knight? Your quest is at an end. You found the Sword of Kings and your demise. Mallory, this blessed weapon is not for the likes of you. I may be trapped, but I am not powerless. The sword returns with me. Your crimes will not be forgiven, nor your name ever remembered. You. You did this, you thrice-doomed cur! Uh. What has become of me? What have I done? Come, let us speak in the open air. I have lost so many things. I betrayed my oaths and vows and turned on King Artorius. For this, my wealth, my few good deeds, even my name were all taken. My wrongdoing may never be forgiven, but I still have the chance to do some good in the world. I will help you on your quest. Have you mastered the knightly virtues? There is a white heart trapped by the Fraudling village. Show mercy and free him. The poor creature stumbled into the bog and can't get out. If you don't free it, it's doomed. You get a rope around the heart and firmly pull it out of the muck. It tosses its head in thanks and then races off free. You showed mercy to the poor beast. That is in fact a sign of virtue. A knight must be loyal and must swear to be true to one's family, fellow knights, and liege. It is my deepest failing. But perhaps there is someone in the world who I once aided who remains loyal to my memory. Ask Sophia Greensleeves if she remembers me. My favorite wizard. You aided me father and husband both. How can I help? Mallory? I do not know... You mean Sir Mallory? How could I forget? He murdered King Artorius, and that cannot be forgiven. But he saved me mother from a giant's axe. If not for him, I'd not have known her songs and laughter. For that act alone, I'll always remember Mallory's name. She remembered me without malice? That eases the pain a little. The law of hospitality is one of the oldest tenets of Avalon. If you invite a guest in, their safety is supposed to be sacred. The Lady of the Blue Dahlia has broken this taboo by inviting knights into her tower and then ensorcelling them. 
Venture to the Tower of the Blue Dahlia and free her captive, Sir Gerard Monmouth. Remind the lady of the laws of hospitality. Alas, it pains me to greet you, good knight errant. I am compelled by the Lady of the Blue Dahlia to fight all who enter. Either I will kill you and prolong my curse, or you will defeat me. In that unlikely occurrence, you will take up my curse. The curse is broken! Well fought, but now you will be forced to act as her champion until you are defeated. But wait, you are not a full knight. As a wizard, you might be able to challenge the Lady of the Blue Dahlia directly. If you best her, we would both be free. My new champion. Let me look at you, lovey. A wizard? You are no true knight, but a sneak thief trying to steal my treasures. I'll have your eyes. You freed Sir Gerard Monmouth by challenging the Lady of the Blue Dahlia to a wizard duel. Well played. My road into shadow was twisted and marked with infamous deeds. I stole a divining treasure from the Three-Color Serpent. It then fell into the claws of a spiny spriggan in the Froudling village. As an act of justice, I need you to recover it. You white-bellied worm! I'll slice you into fish bait! Take your treasure! Take it and be gone with you, witchy child! I've not seen the divining treasure in a lifetime. It showed me a vision once, but in the end, I could not avoid my fate. We must return the divining treasure to the Three-Color Serpent and ask his pardon. Keep your head high and show no fear. You'll find him in the Chromatic Tower by the Rainbow Fountain. So, who is this? A wizard? I smell no trepidation in you, but what do you have there? My divining treasure. I lost it years ago to the accursed Mallory. His spirit told you to return it to me. Hmm, how noble. As thanks, I will look into the divining treasure and tell you what you must know for your quest. A lost queen in a ring fort. She will help you rally the Rose Knights for your final push against the Pendragon. You did it. Good. A lost queen, you say? That can only mean your path leads to Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn can help you complete your knowledge of the Sword of Kings. She must be hiding at the ring fort, Thundara. I know it well. It is the ancient home of the Druids. Where I grew up with my sister, Morganth. Do you know her? She was a clever child who had a smile that could melt Winter's heart. Though she also had a cruel streak. Old oh, ghosts and cobwebs, never mind that! Scout out a path to Dundar and tell me what you find. A giant's tower perches on the path, like a gargantuan carrion bird. Perhaps Mallory has a cunning plan to get by it. From what you describe, Dunscathe still stands, the home of the unspeakable Indigo Giant. The Indigo Giant has a taste for all flesh. He must be preying on travelers to Dundara. Venture into his tower and slay him. What were you expecting? A cunning plan? Then, release his captives. This will show you are a friend to the Druids who can guide you on to Dundara and Gwendolyn. By the skin of my teeth, a little wizard. I just put the pot on the fire, but I don't mind breaking me fast with something raw. I'll wear the shame of this defeat for a lifetime. Good wizard, you freed us from a terrible demise. How can we ever repay you? You are searching for Dundara? Let us show you the secret path, friend. Look for Aeolt when you arrive. 